to Kyoto before I start. I'm heading up there to start, which is the Shutlin's Low. Assuming I don't abort because of weather. Um, then the plan is it's about a 10 mile loop. Get great, it has to be proper rain in there. Um, up to uh, Shutlin's Low, back down and around, and then carry on over to Wild Boar Clough. Uh, then up over some uh, farm complexes, that's the problem with White Peak, don't like farmland, but uh, quite a bit of it. Uh, takes you over to Tag Clough Hill, uh, to two Seafire uh, plane wrecks and a B-17 plane wreck about half a mile from it. And then carry on round again over some more farmland, uh, which puts me over eventually to Three Shires Head. And uh, then back up and over and down Cumberland Brook. And back down to Clough House. That's the plan. Assuming I get that far and I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't scrap it due to rain. Hopefully it's just a shower. But I think I'll probably better coat up uh, before I get too wet. And that's it. There's a car park there, so just a short 200 metre road section before you kick off. And you just sort of curl up the side here a little bit, um, past a couple of farms and stuff, and then you turn off and up the hill. But first, I'll put my coat on. But first, <laughs> just stash my bag there. He's got a nip back to the car, left me bloody phone. Muppet. Fortunately, I realised before I got too far, but I'm still uh, 500 metre backtrack. We're just on this uh, bit of a transition, and then we're going to turn right and up there. And I put my coat on and it stopped raining so that'll be coming off shortly before I start up, up that plank not too bad either, it sort of keeps getting a bit a bit blustery and then calms right down we'll see what it's like at top of there right so now the start of the ascent just pops me up over this little rise uh, obviously I'm going up to up to Shuttlings though, the trig points on the right hand side of that to flank I'll go down the other side of that and then come back around below the crease back to t-shirt certainly for the uh, ascent days I should put my coat it was set off on kite t-shirt put my coat on down there took my coat off there put it back on again there <laughs> and it's uh, proper raining rain in there hopefully this is just a passing shower and I can uh, continue around but uh, so I'll assess it uh, from top of here rain subsiding a little bit which I could do with while I'm climbing up that that bit's fairly steep and that bit says hold my beer but there's the uh, summit plateau and trig points over that end but blue skies again for the moment <sighs> I can uh, hey, uh, take woods down and things Onwards and most definitely upwards. It's not being one, it'll be in sections. Probably about four stops already on uh, on this shoulder, and probably about four more to come. And that sums up. Stay like that. No change for the rest of the day. Totally different from uh, one minute at next. Trig point, ethyl, etc. Just coming into view. Shuttling as low summit, 520 meters. 
So I parked down there at uh, Clough Farm, I think it is, something like that. Car park there anyway, just in that tree line. Come across there, up that tree line, up onto that farm track, up this steep flank here to Shuttling's Road Summit. And then go back down this way to that gate, and then take that path there. I was going to come here down a Clough and drop me uh, back round here to the gate again where I came in so I'm just going to double up that couple hundred meters just down there to the track and then that way and then I'm going to carry on if the weather stays as it is now uh, drop down to the road and then up through that field complex through that tree line push out to a farm building and there's a road over there hey, three, eight, two, one. across that and up there then cut over onto uh, Tags Clough Hill that's where the sea fires are then over, I think it's Birch Clough, Birch and Clough, I can't remember. But well, that's where the uh, super fur, the flying fortress is over there. And then I'm going to carry on down through a field complex, which is going to bring me out over the Three Shires Head over that way. Down past an old quarry, uh, back up over the top, and then down Cumberland and the Clough and back to the car, which is about 10 miles. This side you've got uh, Coker Hill, I think it's called, and uh, Dreadful Bank. Lighting up in, uh, in white over there. Uh, bah, 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 I'm over there then, uh, you just see a building sticking out in the radio mast, that's Cat and Fiddle Pub, which then puts you over to Shining Tour, drops you down to Cat's Tour, and then over to uh, Wind Gather Rocks. flagging there, I don't know if it carries on because that's going to intersect where I'm going but it can be a bit of a bug fest so ah. theoretically at least the path will be a bit more defined so then, coat off again for the third time see how long it lasts it's uh, not quite so blowy down here, but I'm in, in the lee of the hill. So yeah, it just drops me down here, then it kills around to my right uh, and joins me up uh, below Shuttling's Low again from the uh, side I went up on. Back to this uh, gate and then just double up on that section. And then everything else should be uh, a circuit. Only it's spitting at the moment, so I'll. Uh, Stick with it for the time being. But hey ho, it's only water. And this is basically where I came up. So uh, just here. So it's all new again for this route. And it drops quite steep in a second. And drops me down to the uh, village basically at Wild Boar Clough and just uh, cross the road and then up uh, up through some field complex and uh, woodland in comes the rain again I'm feeling quite quite heavy even though I'm in the trees so I think I'll uh, put the coat back on again couple of minutes no doubt but uh, this weather's taking Nick literally just in that woodland <laughs> hammering it down uh, go on then put coat on come out at woods spitting but nothing dramatic This pass over this sort of things a nightmare. You have no concept really of where they go. I think I've said over to that corner and uh, yeah, there's a bridge there. A bridge going over nothing at the moment. Here we are. 
now it's raining again. I hope I didn't take coat off. So there's Shuttleham's low. Uh, come up through here. I remember this little fun section. Try and then put your way down the side. bit easier this time I think. Last time they went either so many stones or it was a lot to, a lot more severe. But uh, okay today not too bad. And just as quick blue skies. And a little harness to shop. Not selling much at the minute. Well it's literally middle of nowhere. <laughs> But the last time I came back it was quite stocked with stuff, drinks and things. Cut through this field, uh, takes us around the side of that barn I think. And then uh, up there to the road, flagging here, but uh, where do we get over the next section? And down the field I think to the gate, there was, it's like a wall uh, style thing in the yeah, next to the gate down there big white bull or cow staring at me saying hey up, where are you going and cut me off at the pass about to pass these uh, cows and one will pay particular attention which is a bit uh, disconcerting so see if we can sneak past them drop a right ball in the middle then whiten now up here and take coat off again hot laugh blue skies for a little while a little chunk of off piece now and uh, find any bogs to step in. Just have to watch the vegetation change. Don't always work, we can uh, sometimes get an indicator of where it's going to be watery. Basically, I think I've just got to skirt this wall a little bit into the next uh, field complex. Uh, to get to the sea fires, uh, roaches, blood church in this woodland, Ramshaw rocks, Meriton Low over yonder. And we're on Tag Clough Hill at the minute. Go, go over to this, it's only a small piece. Go over into a bit of a, a rut, and there's a bit of undercarriage, I think, if I remember right. And then there's supposed to be a third section near that. So pick these up, head over into the corner of the field, over yonder, and then over the side of that. And just on that rise there is uh, the B17 Flying Fortress. So there's debris just literally off the path, over the uh, over the rise, and then about 100 metres uh, in to the scrub like this is uh, like a large scar. Um, and molten aluminium and things and little bits and bobs. Slight technical cock up. Uh, I put in the coordinates for this third unknown section of this plane. Um, and for some reason, I just took out the other two. Uh, so I walked past one. I thought, no, that don't look right. And I sort of just slightly diverted to pick up what would have been the second debris, which is that. So the first bit is back over there about 100 metres, so I'll have a quick uh, backtrack before I come back here. So that's that. That's the sea fire, I think 16th of July 1949. So the first section is back over that way, so all I'll do is I'll drop my bag here. Uh, so I've got to come back this way. And then the third coordinates I've got is over there about another 100 feet. And I've got to head that way back to things. So that's the plan at the minute here back over there back to here and back over here behind me 
I don't know, things you do. Calling me quite impressed. Yeah, and that's the second, or uh, well, that would have been the first debris pool of the sea fires. So found them unaided, which is quite impressive if I say so myself. Uh, so that's them. Now I've got to backtrack again and impress me and even more and find my bag. <laughs> but I left my bag at the other section. Uh, so I'll go and pick that up and then uh, carry on see if I can find this third bit if it exists or if I can find it just saw that as I was walking back to the uh, second section another very very small bit there uh, so there's a bit of a scout round I suppose if there's hotels not there and the weather's uh, picked up a little bit it's still a bit blowy but uh, not raining which is after battle. Some cotton grass and the paths just here. They've certainly upgraded the uh, memorial plaque. But, uh, that's B17 Flying Fortress, uh, January 2nd, 1945. And over there, you've got Ramshaw Rocks, roaches. And uh, Shuttle Inslow. here and then about 100 meters that away uh, I'll get to in a minute is uh, another small debris field so the main debris is there and again I'm just going on memory for this second pool because I don't have the coordinates for it at the moment for some reason the second scar for the B-17G Flying Fortress. Back to the path, so I came up over here to see fires, B17 just over there and over there, also came across a curlew nest with four eggs, quick cup of tea, trying to get out of this wind, we're sort of whipping around from all angles so you can't really get on the shade side at um, rocks or out, curls around and gets you. There's a Lancaster on there and a Junkers uh, 88 just the other side of this mound. And if these mics will pick it up, cuckoo. Oh, we're in that copse, I guess. So I've just come off that section, come across this road, and I just dropped through these uh, nasty nettle bushes. Shouldn't be too bad today because they're not overgrown. Uh, drop down to the road, I think I've got to go up. Uh, that farm or next one and uh, it takes me up that wall up beyond cross border from Cheshire heading to Staffordshire the River Dane and then just around this corner should be a path off on my left and I just have to go into a farmyard a little bit there's the road who's come up through this little bit of a farmyard and a footpath up through the field three shires head two and a half kilometers
and it's got to go up there onto the path of that far wall I think and then that drops me down then to uh, three shires head I'll come from up over there uh, down past that corpse I could just hear Cuckoo again what I could hear from when I was over there so it sound carrying that wind uh, down and back up here now I guess I've not had a roof on for a few years shuttling's low just sticking out the top there so obviously I've parked the other side of that up to that all the way around this lump now down here I've got to go around that hill and then head back over there semi-secret plunge pool while everybody is at three shires head 100 meters down there's another fall and a plunge pool obviously it gets walked down too light but to uh, just everybody led for that I suppose. Gotta find my way up here basically, steep uh, shuttle. Cross the road now through that gate and uh, follow it round, it sort of levels out on the own stretch. So I've done all the climbing, just a gradual incline up here until I get to a signpost. Go straight on. Uh, it's actually it's only to Cam Fiddle and Cam Fiddle Pub. I'm going to take left. I'm just going to drop me down and uh, hopefully out of this wind a little bit as well. Curl just this side of this hill. It takes me back down. So Cumberland Brook is where I'm going. Three Shires Edge is where I've just come from. Cam Fiddle is probably about half a mile. And depending on how much water is flowing, there is a couple of waterfalls. Uh, down here, one I don't expect to be doing anything, the other one probably will be, but just here, which you don't see if you go the, the proper path, is a waterfall. But to uh, say this one will probably not be doing anything at this time of year, we shall see in a minute. Uh, no, as expected, but yeah, there's the path. So if you do go that way in winter. You'll hear it, but you won't see it. So I just, uh, instead of going up and round, just cut along the bottom. Just join it onto the same place. But not much today. I'm going to drop down onto that path. But there's uh, just one hill that cuts along the side to see what this does. Hopefully, <laughs> drops me back down uh, to the river down here. Just uh, bypasses the, the terrain of the clough, really. I just dropped into this wall, just got break left. Uh, and that'll put me to the path I would have come down on if I'd have just dropped down to the lower one. Yeah, so that's the clough I would have come down. So I just skirted around the uh, side of that and down here. Much of muchness. A little fixer upper. Want to get away from it all. Cross this bridge, just down this very trail, onto the road, and uh, through to the car park, which is basically down them buildings over there. Five hours twenty-four. 
11 and a half miles on the Garmin. Five hours 24, 11.32 miles on the uh, watch. But we're back in the t-shirt for the, the last several hours at least. That's good. I tapped coat on and off three times. Off for most of it. So bonus, 